Now, and to buy ye in Goto Shelley, but the results autopsy more bad. Quite explain for I taught in journalism in February before I retire that no journalist must say there's no cause of death. What I taught was I want people to always report a cause of death. The only thing that should prevent a journalist from reporting a cause of death is privacy. I taught that in my school. A music artist lost his mom. I know what killed his mom, and it was very bad. What killed that music artist's mother was very bad and sudden. Sometimes when people die, and it's a sudden death, it becomes sadder. Okay? Because your daddy, call us in moto, call on the supermarket, kick trailer back, call the people just like that. Nigeria can't lose on all America like that. This past week, sudden death can be very sad. This celebrity's mother died of a very sad death. But because of her age and because her daughters wanted to celebrate her life, we saw a nice big funeral. But her cause of death was not announced because of privacy. That is the only reason when Mobad left the concert, there were drugs in his system. He takes Molly. He was holding a cup filled with degenerate bitters. Kubana chief priest, Soso Berekon's brand. Those guys have not spoken until today. The people that sponsor the concert. The alcoholic bitters may have been mixed with Molly. When that was in his system, which is dangerous as it is, he got drunk and tipsy. And the police press conference told you guys, I do thank you that mobile was impaired and he wanted to stand on top of the car with his head out of the sunroof to wave to his fans as a solo artist that was his comeback prime boy pulled him back and said don't do that it's too dangerous meaning that they could have people that were from malia music out there to harm him he came out of the car and punched Prime Boy. I missed the punch. Instead, he punched the car. His entire hand was damaged. There was a wound, and they went home. They called the nurse. The nurse was not around, so they called another nurse. As they were going upstairs, there was an argument that ensued between Mubad and Wumi. According to my investigation and what I heard, a bottle of something was thrown. If you throw a bottle of beer or a bottle of bitters or a bottle of something, I don't know, if you throw something at someone, it'll break, right? So now, picking up the broken bottle and then attacking Mobad with it is another thing. The father said, who stabbed his son? The auntie said, who stabbed his son? The autopsy was done in front of the family in September. September 21st, the autopsy was finished. Why did the pathologist not discuss the external autopsy results at the inquest yesterday? That is Falano's job. That is Falano's job. To distort the information. An autopsy is a report of what killed somebody. Included in that autopsy is a toxicology report. It is part of it. It is part of it. 
Nigerian police tweeted Benjamin Honden on the 21st of September that the autopsy is ready. We're just waiting for the toxicology test. It takes six weeks. I posted that. I said it to Ben Honden. I said, I've almost finished my own investigation on this side. I'm helping the NDLA with this situation because I was the only journalist that actually talked about the NDLA arrest and Mubad was not arrested by the NDLA. He fled. He and Mumi fled. The very next day, I went on Cool FM. I had to go and look for that so that the NDLA can be vindicated because Tonto DK and the Yabo were bent on defaming the NDLA. Shin Shinilo Kubai. Shin Shinilo Kubai, DSS, was asked to enter the investigation. Shin Shinilo Kubai arrest Yabo at Tonto. Do you know what that means? Yoruba speaking people. No Yoruba speaking people. Timu, thank you for the stars. Um, everybody sending me Sadi Inka. Thank you for the stars. Those of you that don't understand Yoruba, let me just say this. Tiny little bit like this. DSS was asked to enter the investigation. Do you know why they entered the investigation? What was their job? They were going to carry Tonto and Yabo and arrest them. If Yabo and Toto were arrested by the DSS, they would not see the day, the light of the day for two years. DSS does not arrest people and release them like police. You will be there for two years in their dungeon. Because what they did was seriously serious. Yabu and Tonto came up with a lie and went to sit down in the office of the police commissioner and saying the NDLA poisoned Mubad. Something that happened February of 2022. And that is one of the reasons I started the NDLA spaces. The very next day, I went to Cool FM. I spoke to Cool FM. Man interviewed me over the phone. I was the only one that tweeted it. The Nigerian media did not do anything. Oh, the, oh, the NDLA raided it. I had the video I posted. You saw Wumi was going towards the Kini now. Wumi was going towards an NDLA guy, going to hit the guy. You can see Shei shouting, Wumi, Wumi. She was high as a bat. At the end of the day, people, what did I do? So as the NDLA being vindicated, I sent a letter to Marwa, like, can we have the names of who are the people that were arrested? And the agents came up with the name. There was no Ilerio Lua or Ladimeji Aloba. Because Mobad fled. The very next day Mobad came out, the very thing that happens to be blame Nara Malia Malia music. I want to to at Yabo. Footage on the sorry 2023 footage. You see how they lie, how they distort news. They now went and made that footage a 2023 footage. When it was actually 2022. If anything happens to me, blame Nara Malia Malia music. Meanwhile, Nara Mali is in Sweden. I contacted him. I said, You better come down. They've raided your house and arrested all your artists. Naimali was tweeting from the airport saying that NDLA beats my artist, do, not knowing that they didn't want to arrest Mobad. So some of you are now carrying that tweet. You are now saying, Chebi Naimali tweeted it, or Denini. Use your brain. There are ways to vindicate people. Every time I go on a radio station, I always ask for a clip. Luckily, I had the clip from Cool FM. And when I spoke to Kulev, and yeah, last night they raided the Malian house, everything, Mubad got away, blah, blah, blah. You see, you can't change that. Then I did my TikTok videos on the high blood pressure situation. A year later, I brought everything out, vindicated, right? It's more than vindicated. It's to tell you that you should stop these lies, Yabo and Tonto. Ah, Marwa was out of the country. They were defaming Marwa. Do you know the kind of work Marwa has done since Buari put him there? Since Buari put Marwa there, do you know the kind of work this man has done? All the drug dealers he has arrested, all the drug... Oh my God, they started a program for drug addicts. They started a toll-free number with doctors, psychologists, pharmacists, everybody ready to help you. The NDLA had a new look. They were helping people, not just arresting, arresting, arresting. They were educating people. Agents were going to school. People like Kemi Lawyer had their own programs too. We came on the spaces every Friday. I'm still on the spaces. I was there 18 months. I've been there for the last three, four weeks now. Any Friday I have free, I'll go on the spaces from any country or anywhere. You heard what they said last week. Like, she's calling from Maryland. She's calling from Ghana. She's calling from 
Mauritius, you know, different parts of the world where I'm working. And I try to make it. With all that, two ordinary, useless actresses wanted to mess his name up by saying that NDLE poisoned Mubad. <clears throat> I can tell you that now because it's over. The DSS was about to arrest Yabo and Tonto. Ah, my wife was not taking it for you. Imagine if they were arrested for defamation. That would have been a serious one. <laughs> Anywhere you see Tonto and Yabo flaunting a foundation, flaunting a sick person, they are using that information to eat. They have no means of livelihood. That's how they fund their lifestyle. Tonto Ross just love her. He employed people who don't even know she's the employer. Some of those boys were helping them convert crypto to cash. And they didn't know it was Tonto and Yabo that they were working for until they were arrested. I think one of them is out now. You have to be careful defaming people and messing people up. Anyway, the NDLA one was out of there. So I ended up telling, um, what was the name of this guy? The ben Hondain, that my own investigation, oh, this woman, Wumi, is the one they should be looking at. She's a person of interest. Hondain said they interviewed her three times. They grilled her three times. They interviewed her three times, Wumi, and they didn't find anything. Even so far, we all back on my leg. Ejo, Emma, we will go leg with she stuff. You was inside me, okay? Me, my God, see Wumi, she shake my leg with she, okay? I don't know anything about that, but all back on what you know, okay? A major king who is known very well to shield people from prosecution. Timba, she documentary ton. Tabi Timba, koi we ton le maruru ko everybody. People will not get ready. Wumi was shielded from prosecution by a politician in Abuja, who I won't mention the name yet, because it will be in my documentary or my book. That politician, if you paid attention, came to see Wumi after the whole Mubad thing happened. The politician was introduced to Wumi by Tonto DK. They were only there for the money. Ah, what do you mean? Tim Obama run investigative journalism um, outfits. Tamani can donate, can donate, and long donate to Cora Obidi. Cora Obidi for when you be lost in vacation. Long for legal help. You are giving the wrong people money. You are donating to. Shame I said you shouldn't donate to Mummy. Did I not say it? Stop donating to Mubad's wife and the child. Did I not tell you that the child is not his and she has to have a DNA test? And then VDM too was saying his own on his side. I don't talk to VDM. I don't know him from anywhere. He doesn't talk to me. The only time he mentioned my name is that if Mumi's sister, Karima, talk with me in September, don't shake with me on the phone. See, my release will go out there, will. You find it funny. Google, come on, documentary. I don't work with anybody. I don't work with VDM. I'm an investigative journalist. VDM is more like I don't work with anybody. 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 Intense investigation. Why did they bury Mobad so fast? Nigerians, Nigerians, we are the investigative journalists. Give, let us do the work. You have to have a brain that's not the Tonto Yabo brain. Justice for Mobad. Anytime they see an opportunity for money, they will now start their justice stuff. Where are they now? Are they still looking for justice for Mobad? Want to cool? Want to cash out? Hey, this is Karimamuchi in Bumi, Milano. Tony told you about setting the wire exposure.
Kilo chele ni umbe kuma binu. <laughs> Please forget about the family. The family stuff. They were all there for the money. If you go back to when Mumbai was being buried after he died, do you remember vividly that they were fighting at the graveside? Or nobody remembers that. That they were fighting at the graveside over Mubad's property. We have not even talked about the music assets over his property. A land, a house, whatever. All the property information and papers are with Wumi's mother. You guys know that, right? My DPO in Aja, Aja police station, my DPO over there did not issue a police report from Mubad's body when they left Perez Hospital. When they left Perez Hospital, because I hear this nonsense talk that most Nigerians are saying. Why did Mubad's father rush to bury him? He didn't rush. Use your brain. You can't have a brain like mine. Not everybody can do investigative journalism. Didn't rush to bury that child. There was something they were hiding. And they wanted that thing hidden. Six feet under. But God punished them and exposed them. When the man got his son's body, the DPO failed to give them a police report. The police report would have allowed them to put Mobad's body inside a mortuary in a Korodu or wherever they want to go. Without a police report, nobody is coming into the mortuary. They didn't have a police report, so they had to bury Mobad right away. Have you ever smelt a dead body? <laughs> the first time I smelt a dead body, Mary's body, they left her body inside her arm. A shack overnight, and she was buried in the morning. The girl that cleans our compound in Aja. Mm. The smell, I was even wearing two pandemic masks. So, Mobad's father took the body to the place where they wanted to bury him that evening. And the chairman of the community said they can't bury him at night, that he must come back in the morning. In the morning, they came back and they buried him. Guys, are you getting what I'm saying? The reason why they rushed to bury Mubad, aside from the smell of the dead body, is the fact that they rigged his body with a cocktail of drugs. Remember, at that time, we didn't know anything about the drugs. It was after they exhumed his body and they arrested the nurse. And the nurse told all the medications she gave. That's when we knew that they had rigged Mobad with a cocktail of drugs. So nurse. nurse. antibiotics, anti-inflammatory. But until the seizures. Why is the pathologist not telling us external autopsy results? Nigerians, focus. Autopsy is not just inside your body. It's inside and outside. Let them post that autopsy results online. I will interpret it for you or any doctors. I was ashamed that many Nigerian doctors online kept quiet yesterday. Our Nigerian doctors are home, abroad, everyone's supposed to be talking. Not a clinical pharmacist alone. But for the fact that I'm an investigative journalist, they were supposed to be talking. What about the external? Mobile was in the ground for seven days, and you saw a fluid, like blood, when they brought him out. There's a process called rigor mortis, and another process called liver mortis. Rigomotis and Livomotis is a process in which the body starts to decay. And the first thing to go is the liver. The liver and the kidneys are where all drugs are metabolized. The prescription drugs, 
the molly and the legal drug. We won't go to any new mobile. I want to take sample here. It was the same this America. You did not send anything to America, Doctor Somari. You wanted it to make make it look like you sent it to America. We as the people have the right to know where it was sent. Oh, I've retired. I've retired. You guys can do this. You guys can do this. This is where the Nigerian media are absolutely fucked up. Nobody in the Nigerian media questioned Mr. Falano on why the media was banned. Remember I told you guys that this is a cover-up. The media was banned throughout the autopsy, throughout the inquest. When I was doing my own two months investigation, my only interns were inside. Remember that picture of me wearing black? Inside Mikoloya here now. So at the end of the day, Mr. Falano knew what he was hiding. He kept the media outside. If you worry, have she too. Don't address media, Lano. Kill the share, have she too. Son, oh no, mama, address media. If you have a father, no one. She be a father, no one. Basically, she. The father, no one in background. We have she too as of Google media. Basically, the world media. We cannot ascertain what kills him. Because his body had decayed so far. Seven days. People. If drugs are not involved, let me tell you this part. I will tell you this part as a clinical pharmacist. Any pharmacist will tell you that, clinical or not. Retail pharmacists will tell you this. When there is no drugs involved, you can exhume a body, all right, and know what killed the person. An autopsy means opening the body and seeing every single organ. You must look at every single organ and make sure. Do you remember the team that Tsongolu put together? It was a big team of medical experts, forensic experts. Oh, yeah, Paul. Dollars. She got a full watch in here. Taxpayer money. It's one parrot by Egbelos America. Emi you see Nigeria, you see the journalism. But all of you are supposed to be going posting to all the journalists. Every Nigerian media was supposed to ask where they took that to. It's 24 hours now. Nobody has asked. Dear Lagos State Government, we'd like to know the name of the lab where the toxicology test for Mobad went for eight months. A toxicology test takes six weeks. Mobad zone went away for eight months to another country. We need the name of the lab in America. Okay, we need the name of the lab in America. LA software, but even America, HIPAA laws. America has a privacy law called HIPAA, Health Information Portability Privacy Act. HIPAA cannot even, HIPAA cannot, HIPAA cannot even take that jurisdiction. Who sent me 5,000 stars? God bless you, Justina. Tokumba Semota. Oh, thank you, Tokumbo. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Talk about Shagun. HIPAA cannot even have a jurisdiction over that. HIPAA is a privacy law. If a lawyer comes and says, I need to know the lab where you tested Mubad's fluids, his blood and body fluids, in Rigomotti stage, they're supposed to give us the name of that lab. That lab might say, we can't give you the information. It'd be any matter to stop. But nobody has asked. That's the trick they play in Nigeria. When you don't ask, they want you to be stupid. Go and ask Shore. Shore will tell you, once they see you are stupid, they want to keep you like that. The media is stupid. 24 hours, nobody in the media has asked the name of the lab. Unfortunately, if they give you the name of the lab, you can't talk to the lab because the lab will say they have privacy law. Dr. Somari, you are running the Lagos Forensic Center. There's a line we heard that the reason why you took Mobad's toxicology abroad was because they burned down the Forensic Center during NSARS. Really? And it wasn't rebuilt like everything else? 
Dr. Somari, you are involved in Michael Ataga's murder, and you found DNA samples in his blood on that girl's Chidima Ojuku's clothes. You are doing forensic tests there. We have hospitals that can do toxicology tests. Use CH Ibadan, Luth, anywhere. We have schools that are teaching toxicology. We have drug rehab centers all over Nigeria, NDLEA centers, private drug rehab centers who do toxicology tests. When we have somebody on drugs, and the first thing when they come to, to um, rehab, we have to do a toxicology test for them. We want to know what's the poisons inside their body. And you are sending Mobad's results, Mobad's toxic abroad. How dare you? Who is that bold in the Nigerian media that can call it fools? They have not done it. I've retired. A lucky That's why I told um, somebody was asking me about the video on one where was it on Instagram or somewhere. I said, please, I've retired. The video should be resting from me now because if I wasn't retired, all that one going on with Bobo Ajujua, his lawyer, and Stella and everything, I would have gotten involved. The video is a liar. You already know that. So I won't get into that. It's even worse than what you think. You guys had me 11 years. You insulted me. So I'm not giving anybody any gist. I'm just watching. I'm only praying for one person. Whiskey and Portable. Because they're setting up Portable for the same thing they did to Moban. Portable has a lot of grace. And he has gotten a lot of grace. That song he did with that British artist. That, one, that song will be nominated for British Grammy. And then you'll see who will win. Give us the name. Give us the name of the lab you took it to abroad. And how you collected the samples and took it so that it won't be damaged in the flight and everything. You might say you took it abroad because his body was already decomposed. Post it online. Nigerians must not agree with that autopsy result. Hey, what do I agree? You must let them know you want external autopsy result. Full autopsy posted online for, for transparency. Full autopsy. What is the laceration on his neck for? Talo gumo ba lo be abi broken bottle lono. Did they dissect Mobad before they embalmed him? Who gave Darusha permission to embalm Mobad? Illegal mortician. Imagine the police had closed the case, blasted Yabo Ojo, remember in November, and said the case is not with us anymore. It's now with the DPP. Now we have the police back into the case, inviting Darusha on the 9th of May. 8th of May. Darusha comes with his own lawyer, Odumosu. I'm even trying to investigate whether that, that one is related to the former, you know, the stupid Odumos in the Oromoni case. You have not noticed that all the Lagos CPs, they retire after they've messed up a case. Odumos retired after Oromoni case. Owonha retired after Mobad case. The same thing with Bamishe's case. Two years, no autopsy for Bamishe. Raped and killed by a bus driver. Six feet under. Bus driver is inside Kirikiri. Still eating every day. Nonsense. Why was the media not allowed inside throughout? Because the media won't be hearing all these lies. Who is the pathologist? They need to post the entire autopsy online. That is what, if you know Mobad's father, go and tell him. Any call post autopsy or money online. Kigo with doctors Nigeria. At our medical profession Nigeria. Point interpret the fan with you. A very external autopsy. For my lean. Tobati won wara. Oh my melt with organs faster. Mobad was already six feet under. So to my body, Mobad daddy. Don't take any kind of samples from toxicology tests. You cannot tell which drug was in that boy's system at that point. So what they said in the court was right, but it was botched and made up. We can't know whether Mumi poisoned Mobad. Remember she said when Mobad was vomiting and having that reaction, 
to the cephalosporin drug and they rushed him to the hospital and we saw them in traffic. Remember, he was convulsing. You saw his neck move. Where did she say she was? She was in the kitchen cooking indomie. The same indomie she cooks and poisons it with drugs that will make him sleep so that she can go and do hook up. People wake up. So, what I wanted to see in the toxicology test was what did Mubad ingest at the club, at the concert? That should have been the first thing that they took from his body once he was exhumed. However, that may not show again because if Mubad put Molly inside bitters, by the time they started treating him inside the house, we're going to metabolize now. What's the coronal system? She bought it to. She bought it to. She bought it to Yagbe. From the concerts, which was the 11th, I believe it was the 11th of September, to the 13th when he died, in those 24, 48 hours, anything he ingested would have been metabolized. Because new drugs were not inserted into him, um, were administered to him. So this is like a pharmacy thing, a medical thing. And doctors are quiet. I have a list somewhere. Ceftriaxone, cephalosporin antibiotic, iodine tincture, Penicillin G, there was a lot of stuff. I have the list. The girl was playing nurse. And she was not under the supervision of anyone. An auxiliary nurse is supposed to be under the supervision of a RN, a registered nurse. So now... The people protecting Bumi that they don't want her prosecuted have won. Unless you and your mom Nigeria, you protest that autopsy and you tell them to release it. The only person that can allow them to release the full autopsy is Mubad's father. The one that has the custody. Notice Bumi's family are saying they should go and bury him. Oh, Rinko Tikarimo. Eh, Rinko Tikarimo. Kolo Berie. A private autopsy cannot be conducted now. Autopsy doesn't work like that. This is a decayed body. You can't do a private autopsy. Because we don't need the autopsy, autopsy. Autopsy is cutting the body into pieces. Carry the liver. Look at it. We had to do autopsies before we graduated. That's part of my clerkship. I had to go through two autopsies. Carry the liver, carry the kidney, carry the heart, carry every organ to make sure. Carry everything to make sure bullet didn't enter. To make sure blood. Do you know how long your autopsy takes? And the family was there watching it. They would put them in one place with glass and they'd be watching it. Darusha is saying that he did not embalm, but that his page was hacked. After money, once he arrested, tell it wasn't. He said his page was hacked. Nonsense. The police invited him. Maybe I posted it on punch. Can you an internal autopsy? But they've already told us that his liver had already decomposed, so... They're not telling us about that thing on his neck, oh, because his father and his auntie were at the autopsy and they saw it. And that autopsy was leaked to journalists. Some of us saw it. Somebody lacerated in Mobad. Darisha has lied up. He says Adura that embalmed him and not him. Prime boy, little Matashiri will be very soon. Guys, we don't have a cause of death for Mobad. 
But you remember what Wumi said. Wumi said, I know how Moba died, but I cannot say because they're threatening me. We're not stupid. Remember what Wahab Shitu said outside the court? He said, we looked into the fight between Mubad and his wife. She already said, the fight. She fight to share a look step. To guni broken bottle. We looked at the Naramali and Samlari bullying. And of course, we also looked at all the medicines they gave him after the hand injury. So she said they've looked at everything. They've looked at everything. So it's hard to tell what killed him. And let's come up with the cause of death. Now, guys, according to science, whenever there's no drugs involved, toxicology is a little bit simpler. But when there's drugs involved, forget it. You can't really, um, when there's drugs involved, you can't really um, get a very good results there were drugs involved before the nurse arrived and there were plenty of drugs involved when the nurse arrived and when we could have poisoned his indomine anyway it's just like this is what happened with Adeliki and I kept fighting and fighting and fighting hey hey my uncle come my name is Shekini Kwan Davido this day who is Davido who who remembers when I was fighting for the Adeliki autopsy? Does anybody remember? 2013. How old was Davido in 2013? 19, 20 years old or something. Forget Davido, I beg. Hey, more. The Adelikes, um, the lawyers are very good family friends. It's just that I want to come and suffer David Kowabe me. Oh, sorrow. Oh, Fedasi. Oh, she will go on and be pop see me. What are you going for? Anyway, David is out of my league now since I'm not practicing anymore. But during their delicate autopsy, they arrested the nurse. The whole part of it is that they felt that the nurse had given him an overdose of the painkiller and killed him. Then they turned it into somebody sponsored the nurse. Now, the medication the nurse administered was very, very high. The dose was high, but Sherry Bami was in pain. So now, there are questions supposed to be asked, and no one's asking the questions. The people who are supposed to be asking the questions are the Nigerian media. Will the nurse be released? Is this case going to be prosecuted? The case is with the DPP. The police said the case has left them and it's with the DPP. But the police went back to, inv to invite Darusha. Darusha goes and posts on his Instagram now that he hacked his pain. He's not the one that even... <laughs> he's not the one that um, embalmed Mubad. She and Riboboro. So accountability was in you know, case here at all.